Oh, Saggies, look at you. Falling in love, feeling all passionate. Look at y'all. Okay, we see you. Mm-hmm. And who's this boo thing? Mm-hmm. We got a boo thing. Oh, you falling in love all over again. And I feel like you guys are trying to extend a love offer or you receiving one from someone that you've already known. Because the Knight of Cups is usually somebody that you are very familiar with. You may have had a romantic, you know, excursion with, maybe in a romantic affair. Maybe even somebody that was a friend that maybe wanted more, but it didn't really get to that point. But now I feel like this person may has may have come back. This situation is re, re The feelings of love are being just being cooked up now the it could just mean that everything is moving in a very romantic direction okay with the knight of cups could be that things are moving quite slowly but it's due to emotions you know it's due to the emotional ease of everything right like how are you adjusting to your emotions what are you understanding about how you feel about this person okay because the knight of cups he's only he's always focused on his cup and that's all he's focused on which is why he goes in the pace that he's going because he's you know it's like you know if you put like a carrot in front of a cow uh, in front of a cow in front of a pig they, like and they strap the stick on their back so they're kind of running towards the the, the the carrot like i'm gonna get it but it's stuck to their back like they already have the cup he already has the cup in his hand it's all about now you know, about recognizing that he's always had it and it's not about getting it at that point. So it's kind of like that. I'm not trying to say you're like that, but I kind of get this a feeling that there's somebody chasing love when it's right there in front of him. All right, Sagis. Let's see what's underneath the Knight of Cups, okay? The Queen of Cups. Oh, you know you love this person or they love you. It's situation, like this situation is very blatant. You, there's some feelings here. Either you're feeling them feelings or someone else is feeling the feelings, for, you know, feeling for you, and they may have already expressed their love to you. Now it's just all about how you react to it, right? Or maybe it's about you definitely, you know, expressing your feelings, talking about it, expressing it with their person. There may have been a lot of communication with that with Page of Swords. You know, it's been very quick and very, you know, blatant. But I don't think it was hurtful. I think it was really, you know, very honest and very true. Um, and I feel like you're maybe now understanding the magnitude of what you were saying, which had a lot to do with love, right? If you guys have been feeling really lovey, lovey-dovey, and you've been saying a lot of wonderful, sweet things, and you really were like, mm, I don't know about this, you probably feel the magnitude of what you were really feeling. Now, the lovers is in the heart of the reading family. That is awesome. This means that you and this, uh, you have you and another person that are connected together, that feel such strong connection, a strong vibe between each other. Each other. Now, the lovers doesn't have to necessarily mean that this is a um this is someone that you're your end all be all it doesn't even mean that this person is um you know this is your forever romance this is someone that you feel a strong connection to someone that you're drawn to but this is someone you do love right it could be i always say you know in case people are not looking for a relationship or they're not in one you know this is someone that you've grown to you know you've grown fond of now for some of you guys it may have a lot to do with the distance that you share um or the distance between y'all rather um some of you guys literally it's physically right for some of you guys if it's figuratively maybe you guys are separate at the moment and your hearts are growing fonder of each other now at the same time i kind of get this feeling that they're of like we saw earlier with the two of wands in the tower or something coming up that's prompting a choice right that's getting things in gear i kind of get the sense that you guys are having to make a decision right now there's something that you have to decide and i don't think it's really about really a decision it's more of like accepting what your heart is telling you which i don't think you had a problem with i don't think it's you and i really think this is really it right getting your heart on board i think it's about really getting your mind to incorporate plans to act on how you feel that's what i'm getting with the lovers really not really that um i'm sorry i'm out of breath y'all Woo! i'm out of breath y'all but anyway I kind of don't feel like this is about you convincing your heart to be in love, all right? I mean, even the Knight of Pentacles isn't really giving me the vibes of, oh, I need to slow this down because he sees what he needs to see. Whatever his, whatever details he was trying to get, he's already got them. He already knows them. It's all about the progress and committing to it. I kind of feel like the Knight of Pentacles is committed here, like really committed, willing to offer long-term commitment and hard work towards you know building a, a strong foundation for the relationship, strong boundaries, strong, you know you know a strong standing in the relationship period i don't see this as somebody taking their time waiting patiently and being slow i feel like they're working to get to the to you know where the sun is showing them because like, they already see what they need to see with the nine, nine of pentacles so i kind of get this feeling it's not really about making a decision about okay do you love this person why are you resisting it it's more of like okay family 
how do we go ahead and make this love situation a reality? How do we bring what we feel to fruition? Because the king of wands, he loves what he loves. He has no shame in the love. Okay. No shame. So, you know, and I'm not trying to say that people that usually are like doubtful of a connection are usually very ashamed of the connection. It's not that. It's just that there is hesitance and the king of wands don't hesitate when he feels something. If there's something of great magnitude, something that makes him feel good, he's never going to hide that. Even if it's bad, he's never going to hide anything. So I feel like with the king of wands, you guys were really expressing your feelings, expressing what you were, you know, your passions, really being romantic with this individual. Okay. I feel like this person either you know, brought up the fire in you or you brought the fire in the other person. And I feel like some of you guys may have even identified who your king of wands is, right? Who this person is in your life, who, you know, this person that, you know, that, you know, that is your better half, that is your king. If this is, if, you know, if this is someone else too, but there's a lot of strong energy right here. Like you are definitely feeling some vibes. You're definitely feeling your energy because now that we moved into this, I feel like this is the commitment part. It's the part that's always slow and, you know, it takes time, but it does end up delivering in what has been, you know, given to it. Right. So I kind of get this vibe that whoever is, whoever this is coming in to offer a commitment or love, something, something solid and real, this person is willing to work on it because they already see what they need to see with the sun and the external energy. They already see what they need to see. The map to them is clear. There's no need to look at the details. Maybe it's about fine tuning the details, really working to, you know, balance the relationship in the best way possible because the six of, uh, cause six of pentacles is your heart's desire. It's the heart's desire. It's the best path to follow. I really feel like what the Six of Pentacles is saying here is that what you're doing right now as far as working on the relationship is really underway. It's all about what you need to balance, what works for you, what needs what what what, what about your life needs balancing so that the relationship can be balanced fairly also. Okay? Cuz I feel like Work is the thing that's very minor to what it is in your on your heart, right? You're not really figuring, you know, for, your money gets you to certain things, but you have desires, you have wants, you have things that you want to do. And I feel like money is a pathway to do it, but it's not necessarily like the main focus. So it's like you're trying to figure out, maybe some of you guys are trying to figure out how are you to manifest this beautiful relationship in the best way possible that doesn't keep it in a such a you know slow state because i feel like either way you know what it looks like you know what it looks like you know how to get there it's just going to take some time and you know it and i feel like this is right now keeping the balance or trying to figure out the best balance um strategy for you in your life is the best way to move forward because in your future your future is you have the six of wands it's interesting how you have the six of wands here and then the six of swords in your outcome now, this is always talks about moving on, going to greater pastures. It can be a really sad energy, but at the same time, it can also indicate that this is like leaving the past behind and striving for a much, you know, a much brighter future, right? Having your, you know, keeping your head up, you know, everybody in this card here is looking down, you know, because it's just expressing that, you know, they're going to miss whatever this was, but it's not, you know, it's, it's about the voyage. That's the most important It is the possibilities that rise ahead. And I kind of get this feeling that this energy here with the Six of Swords, there's tons of new opportunity. Tons of new. And you know it. That's why I feel like in the past year of the King of Wands, I feel like the part where you're not necessarily super happy about is the work portion of it. Well, who does, right? Who If it's not something that you really, something that you really want to do per se, but it gets you to what makes you happy, that's incentive to just do it. Right? That's incentive to do it right there. And it's understandable that, yeah, you may have to, so, you know, sacrifice something here. You may have to leave something behind here, but it does get you to where this is, the sun, the, the sun card. So I get that, right? It's totally understandable. Who wants to do this without this? Because I feel like you already, you, know, you committed to this. You committed to the work. You committed to the, uh, the, the effort to it, toward it. The time that's needed to, to, you know, to, you know, to, you know, make this last. Because you see the potential for happiness. Yeah, maybe you are probably already feel it. Some of you guys, if there's a physical distance, this is you traveling, finally traveling. Maybe to go see them. Maybe to, to, to um, move in together. Usually I don't really see this card as the moving card. I see another card for this. But usually when I see this, like the Six of Swords, it's a really deep energy. Like it's something to having to do with moving on, moving forward. It's very hermit energy like. 
So, why do you have the hopes and fears as the as the Queen of Swords? Some of you guys may be worried about somebody cutting you off. Maybe somebody you're worried about somebody saying, nah, I'm not interested. Or maybe you are on the defense because you're not necessarily sure of what exactly this person has. Either this old person has to offer, this connection has to offer. Maybe there's a level of defensiveness when it comes to this relationship. And I kind of get this feeling that there's not really defensiveness that's really there. I mean, if we had to look at it, I would go back to the Knight of Pentacles, cautious, looking at the details, you know, not necessarily being 100% sure. So, you know, take your time to really review it. But at the same time, I kind of get this feeling that this is going slow because someone else is reviewing it. I don't think it's you. You're just going, you're just too on point with this. Like, you're very... You're very already proud of your relationship to just be even further, even more proud or just a card that really represents, you know, having pride in what you're in, you know, investing your time into the relationship, having more fun, being recognized, all this wonderful stuff that the Six of Wands is telling me. I think this is another person here. And I feel like this person has maybe offered you a cup of love. Maybe this is a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I kind of get this vibe that this person, I mean, maybe you're the one that's offered this person this um this cup of you know this this you know something serious something very valuable and they're defensive and that's why this energy is going very slow this this person could be working very hard right and they may not be you know necessarily 100 percent go go in on it but i feel like with you working on it and you knowing that you're working on it it's going to work out because you showing dedication because the knight of cups is so it, it can be so inconsistent that I feel like the Nine of Pentacles will bounce the Knight of Cups out. I feel like there may be somebody that might be procrastinating just a tad, but it ain't you, Sag. I don't think it's you. And it's not because they don't want this connection. I think they feel it too. It's just that they've been through a lot. The Queen of Swords is always, a, is, is always you know, um, a queen that has been through some terrible stuff. She's also been through some good stuff, but a lot of the really, really hard, difficult stuff she's definitely gone through. So she's going to be on that side of the whole, let me, let me, let me figure this out. Let me figure this out, you know? So I wouldn't fault this person. If there's a little delay, it's only because this person is trying to get the bearings, They're trying to understand, like, filter everything out, make sure everything comes out back clean. She's this, this person, whether this is a queen or a king, right? Male or female, this person is almost like, like doing background checks if that makes sense i always see the queen of swords as doing a background check or a drug test because she wants to make sure this the results that come out of it are clean but she's never going to know that until she takes a chance and i feel like that is slowly starting to happen there's progress going it may not be super fast but be, the reason why it's not super fast is because it's coming about out in the material okay so while you guys are doing your thing feeling passionate and feeling in love Go on with your heart. Follow your heart. I want to see what you guys have to release for this week. Mm, surrender to silence. Okay. In quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. Mm. So guys, this week, it may be a little hard because it's all about being silent. It's all about... Because mm. I kind of get this vibe because I don't want to... I mean, me personally, I hate being quiet. Just to be straight up. I hate being quiet. And the reason why I hate being quiet is because I love talking. Shoot, I love talking. But there's benefits to being silent. The benefit is to, is like when you're going, 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 you can never really truly appreciate being in the moment. I feel like you have a lot of in the moment cards that come up here that really are pronounced, they're really powerful. So not worrying about moving forward per se, but worry, about, not worry about moving forward, but focusing on the what the balance is, what the dynamic is. So I kind of get this feeling like, like there's a lot of space to do stuff right here, right now. Looking towards the future is excellent. It's exciting. There's so many wonderful things coming in with the six of wands, the six of wands, you know, stun. You got so many good things, but to make sure we're ready for those good things, Surrender to silence is almost set, telling us that this moment right here is the biggest, is the most important because that was, is what, that's obviously what we do now makes our future. So I feel like the situation here, 
really has to be focused on the now, which is this Knight of Pentacles. Observation, right? Take, you know, surveying the land, right? Getting ideas, getting more ideas through looking closely at the situation and not making, uh, not making a lot of noise in the sense of doing a lot of things, but being open to receiving maybe such the things that you may have missed. Listening to the other person may help you to, un you know, to create a better dynamic. Maybe this person has commitment issues. Maybe this person has had trauma in their life, right? The Queen of Swords has some serious trauma and that's why they're hesitating. Listening to those things will help you to understand the dynamic and create a more balanced situation for both of you. So that's, there may be some things here that may, you know, that may help from listening um, from listening more than doing right now. But I feel like y'all are on the right track here. So what do we got from the Whispers of Love? I don't know why my camera still hasn't focused. I mean, it foc uh, refocused earlier, but it's like not focusing very well. There we go. Fuzzy, fuzzy cameras make, give me a headache. All right. Be in the present and dream of the future. What did I literally? Yes. Yes, folks. Yes. We dream and uh, we dream everything is possible. When we dream, everything is possible. When we dream, everything is possible. This is the truth. This is the absolute freaking truth. Being in the present makes the future possible. <laughs> 